Fisker with the Ocean and Vinfast with the VF8 are both startups that are entering the increasingly crowded compact crossover EV market. In this video, I'll compare the exterior, interior, tech, performance and pricing of these two EVs and show you how they stack up. Both Fisker and Vinfast are new names in the EV space. You may be familiar with Fisker. The previous company run by Henrik Fisker produced the Karma Hybrid Luxury Sedan. Vinfast is a Vietnamese car manufacturer that has been primarily making gas cars since 2019. They have made an aggressive move into EVs, exhibiting a full range of EVs earlier in January. The VF8 is the compact SUV in this lineup. It lines up very well with Fisker's compact electric SUV, the Ocean. In fact, when you look at the exterior dimensions, these two cars are within a few inches of each other. On the exterior, both these cars are very handsome. The Ocean was designed by Henrik Fisker, who is an automobile designer, in addition to being the CEO. The wide stance SUV form, along with the slimline headlights and the textured grille, give the car a rugged look. The rear continues the slimline lights theme and adds turn signals mounted high so they are easily visible. Giant 22-inch wheels in the launch edition finish off the slick look. Vinfast made a smart move and hired Italian design studio Pininfarina to style its cars. As a result, the VF8 is a great looking SUV. The distinctive features are the front and rear LED lights that drop down to flank the Vinfast V logo. A clever move for a new mark trying to establish its identity. A stacked front light cluster adds to the unique look. When it comes to the interior, both cars take a similar approach inspired by Tesla. They both sport a center tablet screen, 17 inch in Ocean's case. In Vinfast's case, they haven't revealed the size of its screen. With the Ocean, you get Hollywood mode, which allows you to rotate the screen to watch movies or play games when parked. The Ocean also gets a 10 inch instrument cluster, but Vinfast goes without one. In addition to not revealing the size of its tablet screen, Vinfast hasn't revealed much detail about its interiors. We don't know what type of materials they will be using and if they will be sustainable. From the images, it does look like it will get a high quality interior with perforated leather or vegan leather, ambient lighting, and a partial glass roof. Fisker has been quite light on its interior details too, but we do know that they will use sustainable materials. These include recycled materials like reclaimed fishing nets, old t-shirts, and renewed rubber. The Ocean also gets an interesting feature they call California Mode. At the touch of a button, you can drop down all the windows to create a convertible-like feel. Just like the interiors when it comes to technology, these two are quite similar. There's some typical features like collision warning with braking and over-the-air updates. Fisker is promoting its Fisker Intelligent Pilot Highway Driving Assist feature, which it says will be the first to use a digital imaging radar system. Vinfast will offer a level 2 assist system at the start and then follow up with a level 3 system. For the convenience of its drivers and passengers, Vinfast will offer what it calls mobile office, mobile home, home control, in-car shopping, and in-car entertainment features. In contrast, Fisker will have options for vehicle to load and vehicle to grid functionality. When it comes to interiors and tech, these two are closely matched. This begins to diverge when we look at performance. The Fisker Ocean comes in three drivetrains, a two-wheel drive with 275 horsepower, an all-wheel drive with 540 horsepower, and the extreme trim with 550 horsepower. In contrast, there is only one drivetrain for the VF8, and that is an all-wheel drive with 402 horsepower. This falls in between the two-wheel drive Ocean and the more powerful all-wheel drive version. Correspondingly, the 0 to 60 times for the VF8 also fall in between these two Ocean trims. The Vinfast comes in only one drivetrain, but it does have two battery sizes. Similarly, the Ocean comes in two battery sizes also. Here are the range numbers, but keep in mind that for the Ocean, these are manufacturer estimates, whereas for the VF8, these are WLTP estimates. 
we'll have to wait until we can get similar test cycle estimates to get a more apples to apples comparison. We don't have official peak charge power capacities for either car at this time, but it appears that the Ocean may deliver 250 kilowatt. We have towing capacities for the Ocean, but no information for the VF8 yet. When it comes to pricing, the VF8 falls in between the Ocean two-wheel and four-wheel drive trims. This makes sense given that in terms of horsepower and range, the entry-level VF8 falls in between these two Ocean trims. But what's interesting about the VinFast pricing is that they have a battery lease program. We don't know how much the monthly charge is, so we'll have to wait and see when actual numbers come out. The upside of a battery lease is that the payments cover the cost of battery maintenance and the battery is replaced when it falls below 70% of capacity. It will be interesting to see how they measure that. These initial cost figures give us some indication to where these EVs will be priced, but we'll have to wait to see how the detail pricing compares. For example, the VinFast numbers exclude the battery lease cost, ADAS features, and smart services packages. The top of the line Ocean Launch Edition is scheduled to arrive in November of this year. The VF8 is expected to also arrive at the end of this year. How they are received remains to be seen. Both are relatively unknown manufacturers and they will need to work hard to establish their reputations. But if you had a chance, which one would you buy? The Fisker Ocean or the VinFast VF8? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks to a viewer for requesting this comparison. If you would like me to compare the Fisker Ocean or VinFast VF8 to another car, let me know the name of that EV too. Please give the video a like, share your comments below and subscribe to the driver download.